If you want to tap into the 130 million weekly users who are ready to buy your art, then listen up because I am here to teach you how to tap into the power of Instagram. I am so excited to share today's five part strategy with you. You'll learn how to start and scale your business on social media. I call this zero to hero how you can make sales and build a loyal following without a website, and pay attention as I reveal the number one mistake that artists make when trying to grow and scale their business. It's misunderstood as a success marker, but it only delays your growth. And troubleshooting if you aren't getting social media results right now. Welcome to the Empowered Artist Podcast, where you'll get all the strategy to sell your art online. I'm Jenna Webb. I've helped thousands of artists realize and achieve their dream. Tune in each week as we simplify art marketing, make selling your work fun, and elevate your artpreneur mindset. Let's do the damn thing. If you were to ask me, Jenna, what's the best way to start my art business? I would say build a social media presence while you learn business strategy. Now, if you were to ask me what's the best way to grow and scale my art business, I would answer almost exactly the same way. Grow your social media presence while implementing business strategy. But there is one big misnomer or path that artists mistakenly take because they think it's going to bring them art sales. So I'll teach you how to avoid that. Today, I'm breaking down this concept into five parts, and this episode was inspired by a listener question from Sarah B. She creates fine art paintings, and she asked, where do I begin to post my artwork for sale? If you would like to submit a question or make a request for the podcast, click the link in the show notes or go to jennawebart.com slash podcast and send me a voicemail. Today's episode is all about strategy, and before we dive into strategy, we need to address ourselves as humans, because the more we work on strategy and grind and hustle, the more important it is to nourish our souls. If you've been feeling overwhelmed lately, you're not alone. As of late, I have really needed to find ways to ground myself and replenish my soul I've needed to completely detach from work and everything I've been saying yes to. I found out that Lola needs a major surgery. Now, this is my baby girl dog who already had a spine surgery when she was three. Now she's seven, and I just found out that she has to have her right ear canal completely removed. I was shocked when I heard this. I took a couple steps back, and I was like, what? I'll keep you posted on that. But lately, I've had to peel myself away, get out on walks, do breath work, and even swap true crime marathons for some deep, soulful episodes of Queer Eye. If you love the transformations on that show as much as I do, tell me who your favorite transformation has been on this season so far. What are some ways that you love to unwind that don't make you think about your art or your business at all? I would love to hear from you. And if anyone out there is interested in episodes about work-life balance, please give me a shout. Let me tell you about my favorite tool. It's a one-two punch to beat overwhelm and get results in my business using the Sell Art on Social system. And the only way to get it is through my free masterclass called Beat the Algorithm. And for those of you who are really serious about getting results in this area, you'll have a limited time chance to get your hands on my ultimate guide, 18 Real Secrets to Skyrocket Your Instagram Growth. If that sounds amazing to you, save your seat in the free masterclass right now, and inside you'll learn how to get your hands on this limited time guide. Here's the website to sign up. Click the link in the show notes. So part one of five, the first step to launching a successful art business. The key is to start with your online social media presence and build your website as a later step. Having a social presence is a essential part of your long-term business success, and here's why. I sold over 100 paintings in my first year of business, but you know where I did not sell those paintings? Was in my art gallery. I sold all of those paintings because of my online presence, especially because of Instagram. Consumers prefer to shop on social media, and get this, 
56% of internet users purchase online at least once a week. And the biggest source of those purchases are social media. Part two, if you want to grow and scale your business, don't do this. Now I've worked with thousands of artists and this is the big holdup. The biggest mistake I see artists make when they want to grow and scale their business is getting stuck in the fancy website rabbit hole. Here's the key. You want to avoid building your website until you learn what is important and effective. So until you learn the right business strategy, you don't need a fancy website with a ton of unnecessary bells and whistles that don't get you results. Because when artists have not yet learned key business strategies, a website is not as important as they think. In fact, it ends up being the number one delay to success and also a huge time drain. I actually tell my students in Artpreneur Academy to website responsibly. This means I tell my Artpreneur students to keep their websites to the bare minimum until they get through the main course content and understand the strategy. Then I reveal the website bonus at the end of the course and teach them the most effective ways to generate purchases on their website. Because an art business without customers is like a hospital in the desert. You can't help anyone. I know it's a big mind shift, but don't worry about a fancy website until you've learned the strategy. Part three, where should I post my art for sale? The best place to post your art on social media is hands down Instagram. Now I could create a whole podcast just on this, but you'll learn a lot more in the Beat the Algorithm free masterclass. What I want to tell you today is 130 million Instagram users tap the shop button on Instagram every single week. Instagram has a major influence on purchase behavior for the whole internet. 65% of US consumers say that they buy products from links that they weren't even actually interested in purchasing in the first place. That means they're checking out things because they're curious and they're making purchases. Part four, the first step to start and scale your business is to grow your social media presence. So here are the benefits to starting on social media. Posting on social helps you get comfortable posting your art for sale, showing it to the public, talking about your art. And here's what's important. It gets you comfortable evolving creatively in real time with your audience who you will come to know as friends. Rewind that back because that is so important. The best part about starting on social is that there's no barrier to entry. It's free. You don't need a website. You don't need a big art inventory. You just need a piece of art you've created or you're getting started on. You can make sales on social media right away. This is something my sell art on social students are diving in with immediately. Even if they don't have a website, they're able to build their social media presence right away, systemize their content planning, routinely make offers, grow a loyal following, and sell their art all with no website needed. Part five. If you already have a social presence, but you're not getting results, it's time for a change. Posting daily is crucial to nurture your audience and build a loyal following of art buyers and also to feed the algorithm so your art buyers will see your content. But I know that showing up on social media every single day can be really overwhelming if you don't have something new to say or know what to do, especially if you're not seeing results and especially if you don't have a content plan to guide you. But that's where the sell art on social system comes to the rescue. It's my favorite way to be overwhelmed and get results. It's the complete system to transform your social media sales and content planning workflow forever where you'll get fully customized content to authentically sell your art on social media done for you in minutes. Just like Monica who finished the course in four hours and planned her content for the rest of the year, she didn't think she had any content to post when she signed up, but the course showed her how to use what she had and she discovered six months of content that was ready to go. 
Monica keeps DMing me whenever she gets sales, and she just DM'd me saying she sold her 11th painting since signing up for the course. This program is for busy artists like you who want better social media results in way less time. There's nothing like this for artists anywhere else. That's why I'm so passionate about it. The only place to get it is through my free masterclass called Beat the Algorithm. If you want to 10X your sales and social media presence and save eight hours a week strategizing so you can get back into the studio, then click the link in the show notes to save your seat now or go to learn.jennawebart.com slash sell art class. When you come to the free training, I will tell you exactly how to get your hands on the ultimate guide, 18 real secrets to skyrocket your Instagram growth for free. You're going to love it. I will see you inside. If you loved this episode, it would mean so much to me if you shared it with another artist or shared on social media and tag me at Jenna Web Art so I can personally thank you. Thanks for listening, following, and dropping a five-star written review. I am cheering you on every step of the way. I'll catch you right here next week.